Our next guest has starred as Craig Tinker in Coronation Street since he was, uh, well, just about 11 years mm. old. But over the last year, Corrie fans have noticed a bit of a change in his appearance. Well, actor Colson Smith has overcome past demons to shed an incredible amount of weight, and he joins us now to share his story. And you look fantastic, and more importantly, you feel fantastic, don't you? Yeah, I feel great. Um, yeah, very yeah. happy to be here. Well, you started, as we just said then, started at the age of 11, and, uh, and you perform thrilled to be on Corrie, go on Twitter, want to see whether or not, you know, what people say about the character, what people say about your acting, and that's not where... Yeah. We'll talk about it in the documentary. Um, at 11 years old, after my first episode, obviously, quite excited, a young kid, wanted to know what was going on, and the first thing you do is search on Twitter to see what people are saying about you, mm. to see what they're saying about your acting, and they weren't talking about my acting, they were talking about the way I look, and... From a young age, obviously, I'd had a difficult time in school because I was always one of the odd one out. Um, and then, yeah, from 11, being in the public eye... But I've you were 11 well. and they're trolling you at 11? Yeah, I, I think that it, it's that important thing that um, is kind of a message that's still ever so present now is that things that people say about you that they don't necessarily think you see, mm. the likelihood is that we see all of them, like, you know you actively look for it and you actively find it. So what does that do? Because it's not like you can run away and hide. You know, you've got a career here that is in front of the screen. You can't switch that tap off. I mean, what does that do to your confidence? I think um, as an actor and somebody who wants to perform and wants to be in the public eye, it's one of those things where it comes down to the fact that you have to address that in your job, the acting comes for free and everything else comes with it. And you just have to learn to kind of get along with it and, you know, it. it in a way, it's part and parcel of the job. It shouldn't be, mm. but it is. And, you know, luckily, I enjoy my job. I work in a place with great people where mm. everyone's so supportive to get you through some of the tough times that come with it. So what's the, what was the trigger then? So was it, was it lockdown? I know that the, the, your role in Corey's at Policeman, it's OCD, and you were saying to them, the writers, that, you know, maybe he, uh, he could trim down a, a wee bit for the, for the role just on screen. Yeah. So early conversations, I spoke to Ian, our boss, in October 2019, and kind of we were talking about what's next for Craig. Where do we want him to do? What do we want him to do? And there was a few ideas bashed around. And when I said back to Ian, I proposed that, you know, I'd be up for losing weight if it's something that would fit in a story. They came back and said it would. So we kind of decided that we were going to all tie in and do it. So I kind of sat down in the back end of 2019 and said to myself, I'm going to make sure that I do this. I'm going to make it easy for myself. It's something I've always wanted to do. You know, I've always felt like this is what I talk about in the documentary. I've always felt that like my role has to be to be the fat kid. Mm. And I kind of decided that I was 22. I've had the same job since I was 11. Like, it's time to kind of make that change. So I took it on me. Work were OK with it. And, you know, I started. And then in March, the world changed, didn't it, with lockdown. And for me, I think that could have been the most perfect excuse to say, actually, I'll knock this on the head because it's going to affect the story at work because we're off work and you know, actually, I'm not doing anything. I might as well just stay at home and yeah. doss around. But for me, it, 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 it was the perfect opportunity to kind of stop, um, refocus as to what was important for me and what mattered about me. And that's kind of what I did. And in that time in lockdown, I learned a lot about myself. And, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Well, your approach to losing the weight has been key, actually. And like you keep saying, what was right for me. And you haven't been paying attention to the scales, um, but it's not an easy journey. Like anyone who's tried to lose weight, it, people find it really difficult. So how has this worked for you? Yeah, it, it's just been one of those things where I kind of set out and I said, you know, the only, I think the thing that I learned was at the start, obviously I was tying it in with work. It was tied in for a storyline. And then when lockdown hit, I realized that it was more important for Colson than it was ever going to be for Craig Tinker and mm. a storyline on Corey. So um, it kind of meant for me that it, it was all about doing it for myself and self-improvement and kind of giving myself the best opportunity mm -hmm. to do what I wanted to do. So, yeah, I just sat down and um, made little goals and those goals constantly kind of changed. And, yeah, it's just been, it's just been an experience that I've really enjoyed. Have you? Yeah. Good. Definitely. Good. So what about, what about yeah. your head then, your confidence? How, how, how do you feel now? Yeah, massive. I think this is what kind of comes out in the documentary. Like, the whole title, um, Bored of Being the Fat Kid, I, I always thought that that was me. And to kind of learn that that wasn't me and to find my identity, it's kind of... Uh, when I was making the film, I realised how much um, self-respect I had for myself versus 
how much self respect I have for myself now. Like it's it's completely changed. So, in terms of my mental health, my you know ability and my confidence, like it, it has it has changed a lot. And you know it's something so simple as in you know a little bit of investment in yourself. It, it goes yeah. a long way. Well done, you. And so as with, sort of with the character. Where do you sort of see him going now? Because will this will this change him slightly? I guess it's, it's your body, it's you. I, I guess the one thing that's similar about me and Craig is the way we look. So um, yeah, you know, I, I'm excited as to what's next for Craig and how how this is going to affect things. Obviously, we've, we've seen it in his job. We saw a little bit at the, when we came back from the COVID break and kind of Craig getting more confident. Um, and yeah, I, I, I think it, I think it will probably change a little bit. But I'm excited as to what it can bring to Craig. Really. Well, one of, the, one of the few areas where you do are happy to just sit on the sofa and, uh, and watch a movie is, um, is actually a very successful um, uh, Instagram podcast. I mean, you, you, you've got the uh, Sofa Cinema Club. Yeah. Uh, which you're with uh, Jack P. Shepard and Ben Price. There we are. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and this started out of the fact that you only ever watched Disney and they said, uh, as mates, you've got to watch a little bit more than that. Yeah, basically, um, I, I was kind of the... 18-year-old kid that only used to watch films like Hannah Montana and High School Musical. Sounds great. I, I mean, <laughs> it is. We uh, should sit and watch telly sometime. Yeah. But they <laughs> turned around to me and said, look, if you want to be an actor, you know, you've, you've got to start watching some better films. And we kind of decided to put it together in a podcast because part of the deal was, if you watch some of my films, I will then watch your films. So that's what we do each week. I pick a film, then they pick a film. We get into What's the, the best new film you've watched it. that they've introduced you to? Best film that they've made me watch. Something that you would never have watched before. It's a tough one. They made me watch a film called Old Boy, which was a Korean film with subtitles. Now, at reading's not oh, it's one a of big my ask, strong... Isn't yeah, it? it's a big, big <laughs> ass sort of thing. So I, I sat there and got through that and actually really enjoyed it. But um, whenever they pick a film with subtitles, that's black and white, there's always a sla like a sigh on the podcast from yeah. where I think... Well, we, uh... well, you've got to do something. That's yeah. why yeah. you can't yeah. just sit there and let it wash We asked you like this morning if you'd watched yeah. Thelma and Louise and you said no. And it's no. their 30th anniversary, 30th anniversary of the movie... Uh, today, so you've got to take that back to the club. Yeah, I know Jack and Ben. They they have spoke about Thelma and Louise. I know they really they, they jump the Grand Canyon, don't they? That's well, about. Don't ruin the well, ending. That's, that's, that's the sort that's of the that end. That one ruined. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't seen it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, don't need to. Now, now it's now. fine. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Well, let's not too, talk too much about that particular scene. There's a whole lot of other stuff that happens before it. <laughs> <laughs> so take that one back. I will do. Uh, it's lovely uh, it's to see you. Good to see you. The the. We're talking about the documentary, uh, Colson was saying it's bored of being a fat kid. Um, it's um, it's on your YouTube channel. Yeah. And uh, and that's uh, you're going to drop that on the 2nd of June. Yeah, so the trailer came out today. The trailer's out now on my YouTube, which is just Colson Smith. Um, that gives you a taste of what it's about. And then the film comes out on the 2nd Good of June. Good for you. All right, lovely to see you. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Take care.